Welcome to this course in wind energy. I'm Merete Badger and I'll give you an overview of the course content, module by module. We begin with an introduction module. Here you'll see the learning objectives for the entire course and we'll give you some tips on how to interact with other course participants. We highly recommend that you take the time to post in our discussion forums and to read the posts of other course participants. In this way, your course experience will be much more fun and interactive. In the introduction module, you will also take a look at wind energy from a helicopter's perspective. Why is wind energy important? How is a wind energy project planned? And what are the environmental concerns? In the wind resources module, you'll learn how the wind varies in time and space. You'll apply basic engineering model models for wind speed and determine the annual wind energy production for a wind turbine. The test and measurements module, module is about different techniques we can use to measure the wind. You'll analyze measured wind data and you'll determine the mean wind speed and the turbulence. Economy is about the financial aspects of wind energy for the entire lifetime of a turbine. Here you'll perform simple calculation of the cost of energy from wind. Wind turbine technology is about the different components which a wind turbine consists of. You'll account for the configuration of a wind turbine and the background for the modern three-bladed turbine. Aerodynamics is about how wind turbines work, what makes them turn around. Here you'll carry out calculations of thrust and power for a wind turbine. Wind turbines are made of many different materials, and new materials are being invented in order to create lighter and stronger components, especially for the blades. In the materials module, you'll calculate the mass of a wind turbine blade based on different materials properties. Structural mechanics is about the different forces which act upon a wind turbine blade. A blade can be considered a beam and therefore beam theory can be applied. In the structural mechanics module, you'll define boundary conditions and loads on beams and calculate re reactions and internal forces. The last module of the course is about electrical systems. One of the major challenges in wind energy engineering is how to integrate the variable amount of wind power that turbines generate into the electrical system. In this module, you'll account for the role of wind energy in the energy supply. Here's the team of teachers behind this course. We are all researchers at DTU Wind Energy and we look forward to working with you. We hope you enjoy the course.